Hey there, busy mama. I got you. No need to worry. I did the homework for you. As your wellness concierge, I'll connect you to greater health and guide you to be fully alive and well. I'm a former Navy nurse and lactation consultant turned homeschool mama, focusing my love of education and health and wellness toward helping others. I don't even pretend to have it all together, and I'm totally okay with that. I can keep it real. I'm here for encouragement, sharing my voice and my journey, and to have fun. And just maybe a little learning, too. Here, you'll find education, empowerment, and authenticity on a weekly basis. I am your host, Stacey Myers, the Hot Mess Homeschooler. Welcome to the podcast. Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Today, I want to talk about being a wellness concierge. What the heck does that even mean? So it came to my attention that um, people have never even heard of the word concierge, let alone seeing it in print, know how to pronounce it. So a couple months back, I was at a homeschool conference and I met some friends there a little bit later. And they, when I called them, they were like, meet me at the concierge desk. (laughs) And I was like, what? Oh, concierge. So it just cracked me up. So whether you say it concierge or concierge, um, what does it mean? Why would I even call myself that? So I went to look it up because I had an idea in my head of what it was that a concierge did. And yet all the definitions in the online dictionaries that I was looking were really less than helpful. Um, It was very specific to like a position, but didn't really say what they did, if that makes sense. So it talked about them um, being an employee of a hotel that assists guests. Like, well, that could be the janitor. I mean, you know, so what is it that made the concierge stand out from the maids, the janitor, the front desk receptionist? What made a concierge a concierge? And I really didn't feel that any of those definitions, sadly, (laughs) explain that fully. So... Another site talked about um, helping people by dealing with problems and giving them information and providing personalized services, which, yes, that did resonate with me and got closer to what it was that I felt a concierge actually did and what represented their position. So I did a little digging online just to see what else they had to say about what it was that a concierge did. So really what a concierge at a hotel desk does is they provide local information and they help guests organize any activities they wish to do during their stay. So sometimes that includes like building a detailed itinerary for a guest, or sometimes they're just answering questions and pointing guests in the right direction. So they offer advice on things to do Sometimes they have to do a little research. And also what makes a concierge really special is that they have connections with other businesses. So really what they're doing is they're connecting people to things to do or transportation or, um, you know, other information that they need to make their stay successful. And I love that idea because it's a one-stop shop, right? Like they, someone who comes in from traveling may be exhausted. They don't have the time to sit and research, or they may just want to jump right in, or they may have jet lag, you know? And so the concierge is the person you would go to, to help basically help you plan and make it easier and have a wonderful trip. So They talked about um, different um, things online, did talk about, you know, the concierge would have exceptional customer service skills, be an active listener, um, because you really want to determine the best recommendations for the individual customer needs. Friendly, welcoming personality 
and courtesy and a can-do attitude, which I completely love. <clears throat> so why the term concierge? Well, I have also seen people um, call themselves a lifestyle concierge, which I'm not entirely sure if that's like life coaching or what that is. It sounds super fancy, but um, I don't know. <laughs> I looked and I resonate with the title of wellness concierge because as you can see from the description that I was describing, I I feel like that's what I do. I connect you to information, to services, to selected products, to my favorites that I have handpicked, that I have already curated through my own research and um, in, in trial and error too for myself. And I can help customize those recommendations for you. So instead of being overwhelmed by all the options, I mean, because there's a million of them on the internet, you can come to one place and be connected to that. So I am the person that you can come to when you need knowledge and have no time to research. When you're tired <laughs> from, your, from your life because you've got enough on your plate and you want someone to help you just get started. When you're looking for hand-picked product selections so you don't have to weed through the vast array on the internet. When you want to get started again but feel paralyzed and overwhelmed by all the options and information. I mean, it's crazy. So I am the hot mess homeschooler. And no, this is not just a specific homeschooling site, even though that tends to be the perception. I have done the health and wellness homework for you. So I am here to help you get started or continue walking in holistic wellness with a W. My job is to connect you to greater health and guide you to be fully alive and well through education, empowerment, and authenticity. There's no fakeness here, guys. I'm completely 100% transparent um, about my own journey that I'm walking right now and um, where I am. So thus, the hot mess in Hot Mess Homeschooler. <laughs> so, and I believe that wellness should be holistic. W-H-O-L-I-S-T-I-C. Because we are whole people. We are body, mind, and soul. We just can't be a body. We just can't be a mind. And we just can't be a soul. And that's why everything you see from me, whether it's going to be on my website, in this podcast, or on social media, represents a little bit of all of that because that's what makes us one person. We are all all of those areas are connected because, and let's be honest, none of us fit neatly into one category and you can't improve one without improving the other. So how am I a wellness concierge? How do I connect you and guide you is I teach busy mamas and dads and everyone. This applies to all people, but I think as far as busy mamas, um, I resonate with because I am one of those and I know what I have needed in my own journey, in my own walk in wellness. And so now I want to be that person for them. Also, mamas and women are statistically the people who are making the decisions in the household and are going to be the ones to guide their families into greater health. So I teach busy mamas and everyone to live toxin-free in body, mind, and soul, and I empower them with the tools to take charge of their family's health. We all need a toxin-free toolkit, and so I am here to help you along this path. So I have some courses and workshops in the works um, again, busy mama myself, so, <laughs> but they're coming. And so stay tuned for those. In the meantime, I do offer one-to-one -one consultations for customized concierge services. So maybe you're looking for information on specific product recommendations. I can help you. 
Or if you have issues that maybe you're not sure which one of my favorite products um, can help you, let's chat. No, I'm not a provider, but I can connect you with that information and help you get started with all of the different things that I have, again, curated and researched along the way. Um, maybe you want to get started living toxin-free and you're not sure where because there's so many, you know, you've got uh, personal care products, you've got, um, you know, your home cleaners, you, you know, there's so much to consider. Where do you start? What would give you the biggest bang for your buck? And let's be honest, most of us have a budget. So let's schedule a time to chit chat and I can help you figure that out and what makes the most sense for you. So until those workshops and courses are there, the one-to-one -one consultations are, I can help you with those customized concierge services. You can also find on hotmesshomeschooler.com, you can find a little more of my story and my mission and my podcast and the blog and all of my favorite um, products under Stacy's Faves and go explore there and learn more. But my goal is ultimately, I want to serve you. So how do I do that? How can I best serve you? Let me know. Leave me a comment. This is my passion. I want to help you help yourself and your family truly walk in wellness. So check out my website. Let me know if you have any questions or if we need to schedule a time to chat. And until then, be alive and well. Hey, thanks for listening. Head on over to hotmesshomeschooler.com where you'll find all the things. Connect with me on socials, check out the blog, and subscribe to the podcast on your favorite platform. I look forward to serving you. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, be alive and well.